Oh my gosh, you guys, sorry about that. I officially do not like Facebook. <laughs> this whole time I thought I was doing a live and you guys never heard me. <laughs> and then it finally kicked me off and said low connection. So I guess I'm starting over. <laughs> and I do apologize for that. But I'll start over with my um, list. Let me share it. I have forgot to share it anyway. Hey, Randy. Um, I'm just going to share this with my private group and also my um, business page since I forgot to do that the last time anyway. Hey, Mo. Coach Mo. But I was on the live and it wasn't even live, you guys. And I did like 18 minutes. <laughs> And then it kicked me off. I really do not like Facebook. Yeah, I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi on, Randy. <laughs> because when I was at my aunt house, her Wi-Fi was slower than my data. So when I was out of town, I was doing my um, using my data instead of the Wi-Fi. So now I'm just like, oh my gosh. Daisy, I close the door. So today's topic is eight reasons why we burn out as moms. And I have some good examples, y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to share with you guys. The first uh, reason we burn out as moms is we take on too much. Um, we never really say no. A lot of times we always say yes, yes, yes. Hey, Juanica. And we never really say no. Daisy on. Seriously? This boy is making noise on purpose. I guess he's craving attention right now. He just came in the house <laughs> from playing outside. But we take on a lot as um, as moms. We never say no. We got to do everything ourselves. Um, and number two is we strive for perfection. We don't always have to be perfect. And I try to tell people that a lot of moms... Um, we just want everything to be perfect, especially like things, planning parties, events, um, back to school. This is the perfect time of the year where a lot of moms be like, oh, you got to have everything and da 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 And you don't have to um, overexert yourself and stress yourself out about stuff being not being perfect because at the end of the day, it's going to affect you either personally, health-wise, all that. Like it's going to cause stress. Hey, hey Cindy. Um, number three is we focus on the wrong things. <laughs> a lot of the times we will focus on everything but really what matter and not prioritize stuff. And we will um, get overwhelmed and stressed out about stuff that don't really matter and is not really important. So as moms, I, I say like, just focus on what's really important. Spending time with your kids, with your family, living your best life. Um, don't stress about the little things. Um, number four is we don't take time to rest. We would just go, 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 go. A lot of people say, when they come a mom, I don't get no sleep and da 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 da. And um, that's actually not true. That happens only because you want to do everything. You don't take the time out to rest. You want to um, clean or stuff like that while the kids are asleep, straighten up. So you don't get no time to sleep because you're up doing everything else during your me time when you should be focusing on yourself so a lot of times uh, we don't take time out to rest and do for ourselves um and that's not good like just make uh take time off to just sit down kick your feet up read a magazine like i have a ton of magazines i need to catch up on i just recently last week started reading a magazine a day i'll take one with me Wherever I go, if I'm sitting, have a little wait time or whatever, or I'll just go to the park and I'll just read some pages in the magazine. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I really like this magazine. I wish I would have read it back in April when it came out <laughs> and it probably would have been a little more helpful. But um, just take that little time to do, just drink some tea, relax, whatever. Uh, number five is we work too much. Uh, I know I do, <laughs> but it's by choice, and it's um, it's a personal choice that I made where I wanted to have two businesses, and I won't let go of my regular nine-to-five job, and I do work a lot, um, but
but that's just a, a personal choice. But as moms, we do work a lot. Um, I was uh, talking to somebody earlier, was like, I got to the point where I was working so much the last two months, last week I just got sick. My body just like, that's it. It's time for you to lay it down. So I'm just now starting to get better. I'm not 100% yet, but I was working so much till I was exhausted and it, my body was just shutting down. I started getting like vertigo, couldn't even stand or be in light because I was dizzy, nauseous. Um, I couldn't hold no food down for 24 hours uh, last Thursday and Friday, but it got to the point where my body told me to stop because I wasn't gonna stop. I kept working, 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 working because all I was focused on is my goal, my vacations that I want to take, the countries I want to go to, I want to buy a house by Christmas, and that's all I was focused on to the point where it really affected me physically because I wasn't taking care of myself or taking any days off. I didn't take a day off for about three months. So today is like the first day I took a day off and just relax and say, okay, I owe myself a lazy day. And I just stayed in bed I still haven't caught up on like TV because last week I didn't watch TV or turn the TV on for four days. That's my new thing. I only watch TV maybe two to three times a week and it's usually while I'm at work because I work from home. But I catch up on my recordings just random days during the week um, and I limit myself to social media now where I'm not on there all day. I'll start planning out uh, scheduling my posts and stuff like that and interacting and engaging on um, random times because I'm like, I'm doing too much. I have like six social media pages and uh, three different businesses and it was just a lot and it was overwhelming. And so I just had to shut down with a lot of stuff just so my body can just relax and have that me time. Um, number six is we always wanna be in control and have control. I posted a post uh, last week saying, <laughs> um, do you have a problem like releasing control, especially when it comes to parenting um, or in our co-parenting? We want to do everything because we don't trust the other parent to do it or they're, gonna, they're not going to do it the way we want it. So we'll just take on all the responsibilities and then we'll complain like, I'm doing everything, you don't help, stuff like that. And it's like, do you let them? you don't give them the uh, opportunity to step in and help because if they do something, you'd be like, I'll just do it. That's okay. I'll do it myself. I was big for that <laughs> until like this summer. And I just had to let my son dad take on some responsibility, especially like shopping. My son is nine years old and he's in a nine men's shoe and he's in men's clothes. I told him that's just a responsibility you're going to have now because I'm not going to be shopping for men's. Um, I'm like, you're, you're a man. When you shop for yourself, you can shop for your son. So I finally released that one um, responsibility of keeping up with clothes and shoes and stuff. I'm like, no, that's your job now because I can't do it. I don't know how to shop for men. I can shop for kids, but I don't know how to shop for men. So um, I used to always try to be in control of everything. So when I started releasing control, I started seeing that our co-parenting relationship improved because um, he was like you don't even let me do it so I just sit back and let you do it and do it by yourself and I didn't understand why he would do that because I'm like oh until I asked him like why don't you just jump in or offer to do stuff and he'd be like well you always wanted to control that so I just let you do it and I was like oh okay it was me because <laughs> I did do I did do that like no I'll do it or people taking too long, my patience is like very limited. And I'm like, never mind, forget that I asked you. I'll do it myself. But that was me. Um, but you don't have to always be in control. Uh, number seven, um, we don't ask for help. I, for a long time, I didn't ask for help. I would be overwhelmed, no sleep to the point of exhaustion and getting sick. <laughs> and then I'll break down and ask for help. Like last week, I wasn't feeling good at all, and I had to call my mom, and I'm like, I was barely able to drive myself home because I was dizzy, and I was getting motion sickness driving myself. So I had to call my mom to the rescue, like, Mom, I'm going to try to make it home, but when they get out of school, I, I don't know 
how he gonna eat because I can't even get up. I was so weak, I was barely able to get up um, to the second floor where I live. Um, so she came over, brought us food and everything. Then once she uh, left, then his son, my son and dad came to the rescue because I was like, <laughs> Your son came in the house crying and bleeding for some little kids, threw a rock at him. I can't deal with it right now. He's just like, I'm on my way. And he only lived like two blocks over. So I'm like, okay, I don't have to worry about it. He got the situation handled. He came over, took care of it. We were good. And he just like checked on me and stayed there for a while until I went to sleep. Um, but I had to break down and ask for help because I was just tired. I couldn't do it my body would not allow me to my mind was saying yes i could do it i could do it i could do it but no my body was like lay your butt down and go to sleep um so the last one is we take care of everyone else but ourselves. this is so common for mothers to be that nurturer that superhero that doctor that teacher that, that everything um we do for everybody else but ourselves, and it's kind of selfish to do that to ourselves um, because we need the most. If our cup is not full, <laughs> how could it run if over? If we keep giving, 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 our, our cup will never fill up. And we need to be good in order to be able to give to other people. We cannot be messed up, a mess, can't concentrate, mind everywhere because that's a safety hazard for one. Like you can't be all over the place, stressed out, overwhelmed, doing for everybody else and then you forget to take care of yourself and then you wind up getting sick and then your body, like me <laughs> last week, shutting down. Then you realize, okay, it's time for me to take a break. Like I literally, learned uh decided to talk about this because i'm guilty of some of these things especially number eight um taking care of everybody else i was doing what i had to do to help my son dad get settled in and get out here help him find a job place to live stuff like that but i wasn't even thinking about me and it changed my whole life when he came out here because i'm like okay we were on a system of how we did everything we were on the flow and then it i had to rearrange my whole work-life balance and my time management um to adjust and add another person and then we adjust our co-parenting when you can take him we went from being in the same household for about two and a half months to now separate households so it just kept changing 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 and it was just a lot and, and during that process I was never giving back to myself because I was doing for everybody else to make everybody feel comfortable, to make sure my son was okay with his dad being here and mentally, physically, emotionally okay, checking in with him, checking in with his dad, seeing how they communicate with each other. I was doing a lot and even though it was an adjustment for me, <laughs> his dad recently, like last week and the week before, was like, you need to take time off you need to relax you be like i got it like just chill and like took me out to eat like we'll just go out and he'd be like you just need to relax like you don't have to work so much i have a job now i can help i just finally like feel like that relief off my shoulder because i was busy doing for them and he's like now it's my time to get back to you because you helped me and you sacrificed you were working hard and um being the only provider and everything and then now i have that that help um but that's what i wanted to come to you guys with um i will be uh asking a question in my facebook group for those of you who are in my group um about what city and state you guys are in because i'm going to start doing live events in person um like mommy nights off manny and petty in conversation stuff like that um, I want to do an event where we do like a mommy makeover and um, I invite my friend who is a runway coach to like we just have fun walk the stage strut our new look just feel sexy feel empowered because I know as a mom after having a baby you don't feel the same anymore your body go through so many changes so many adjustments and I just want to start hosting events to bring that back, uh, bring that confidence back, your self-esteem, 
empower you, motivate you. And we have conversation. We have Q&As where you guys can get like live coaching. And I'll invite other parenting coach. I know in California, um, I do have a another parenting coach there. Um, I know I can host events here in Vegas, but I'm just trying to really, um, figure out where. Also, I'm planning a co-parenting boot camp for those of you who don't have six weeks um, to go through my co-parenting program and you want to hash out everything in person, um, I'm thinking of renting out a whole hotel to do like a one night stay. It's two days, one night, and we do a full boot camp and get to the bottom of everything get a co-parenting plan plan everything do intensive coaching workshops uh bonding activities because a lot of times people really forget that you should focus on like being your uh, uh the other parent's friend first go back to being friends because you cannot co-parent with an enemy you cannot hate this person you have to go through forgiveness you have to um get over the past hurt talk about it because a lot of times some you can be mad at somebody they don't even know why you mad they don't even know why you guys can't co-parent why you lash out every time you try to communicate why you um just don't want them around or you just rather be a single parent because you don't want to deal with them or have them in your life because you're still hurt from past things or you don't like to be active and um them to be active in your child life they don't even know why because half of the time, the problem is you can't communicate. You can't communicate with a broken heart. You can't communicate with hate, resentment, all that stuff. So in the boot camp, we will go through all those things. And the boot camp will be a little less than my um, six week program because I don't have to drag out six weeks and do one-on-ones with you and stuff like that. We could do group discussions. You would have support there from, um, from other men for the men and other women and we'll be your village for those two days you'll be able to ask anything live in person and we'll be able to go through the healing if we need to have a crying session you need a hug we can do all that because it don't have to be virtually or whatever and I'll, some people prefer to be in person so that's what I'm uh, planning for later this year and um, the last quarter is a co-parenting boot camp for those of you who can come to Vegas or live close. I know a lot of my um, followers are in Vegas and California, but um, I'm going to give you guys some more details on that later on. I'm still working with this hotel. Um, it's still questionable because it's, it's right across from Mayweather's new strip club. So I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know if I want to be at that location, but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, but I think it'll be amazing to start doing events and being in person with you guys because I really am a people person and I like to be in person versus on the phone or video chat. Um, hey, LaJoy. Yeah, because you you one of my, uh, my loyal people and you be buying my products and stuff. But yeah, um, even if just the mommy and me, the Manny and Petty, that would be definitely in California because that's where my friend have nail shops. Um, and... Uh, I have cousins that have boutiques and stuff like that where I can work with them to be able to do mommy makeovers. All my cousins are beauticians, nail techs, makeup artists, so photographers. So we could just have a lot of fun and just be free of mommy duties for a few hours. <laughs> but um, those are things that are coming up later, um, starting probably next month. I'll do the first event and see how that go. But I think it'll be really, really fun. Um, I know the people that's here in Vegas, uh, I'll be like joining with other parent co with other coaches here for like Taco Tuesday um, at the Caribbean um, restaurant. Uh, I'm gonna send something out tomorrow to invite you guys. If I feel good, I'm gonna go. Um, hopefully I feel better where I can go do tacos and discussions. So it's tacos and conversations here in Vegas where there's a few different coaches we meet there on Tuesdays. We have tacos. We talk about everything. There's trauma uh, coaches. There's um, empowerment coaches. There's every everybody. 
and then you have the uh, melanin taco lady that's going to be there too so we just have a lot of fun talking and we go live and we do um just have discussions so i'll be um sending out information for that tomorrow um and letting you guys know if i'll be there for those who are local in las vegas um but thank you guys for tuning in today and i have a lot a lot a lot a lot of videos that i can do uh coming up i was just trying to get better i wanted to do more videos last week but my body was shutting down and i just i just needed a break you guys um but i'm almost back <laughs> but I'll try to do another uh, video or if I go to the Taco Tuesday tomorrow I'll go live and we can have some discussions um, but go ahead and send me any scenarios you have you can be anonymous and any topics you want me to talk about um, I have a lot of topics on the list for videos this um, this month because it is still step parents matter two month or bonus parent and I have some real conversations that we need to have <laughs> Um, but I thank you guys and I really appreciate all the support and you guys believing in me. If you ever have purchased any of my products, <clears throat> I really appreciate if you leave a review on my business page, which is uh, Monique Atkins Coaching. You can look that up. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. Um, I left my tea in the kitchen. <laughs> um, but you can look up um, in the search field Monique Atkins Coaching and just leave a, um, a review if anything I've said to you has helped you or my free ebooks, um, I know you guys seen me shout out Ari um, earlier. I helped her last week and sent her over my um, ebook, which helped her, and I really appreciate her shouting me out um, in regards to like how that um, helped her. But you guys, um, just go ahead and add a review on my business page. I really appreciate that. And I'll be back with you guys most likely tomorrow or Wednesday. And I thank you guys for your support. You're, a lot of you engage a lot. I'm just looking at all my um, stats and this show, like at least 90% of you guys actively engage in the group. And I really appreciate that because um, a lot of times people are quiet in the background. I'm still doing breakthrough calls. I have openings for next week, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So you can inbox me or message me to get on my schedule and um what else i think that was it um and i thank you guys for your support and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day i'm about to drink my tea and get back in bed <laughs> so i'll talk to you guys later all right bye